Hello, this is Mark Tucker and welcome to Quick Mean Stack Deploy. Over the next few minutes, we're going to use the Mean Stack boilerplate and create a simple Mean Stack web application and deploy it to the cloud using Heroku and Mongo HQ to host our database. Let's get started. So first place we're going to start off is mean.io and this is uh, telling us that the mean stack is made up of Mongo, Express, Angular, and Node, and this is boilerplate code. We go down here and we need to have Node installed, so if we don't already have Node installed, we can go here and install that. It also says that we need to have MongoDB, so you can download that locally, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually use MongoDB hosted in the cloud using Mongo HQ, and then the application is going to be hosted in Heroku. So let's get started. Um, the packages that this is going to use in Node is Express, Mongoose, Passport, and then it's going to use AngularJS, which is also going to use Twitter Bootstrap. So that's the, the core of what we're going to uh, use to build our web application. It's the main stack. So first thing what we're going to do is here in my Node dev directory, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Uh, for mean stack and let's go ahead and download this uh, code. So this is the boilerplate code. It's going to give us all the different things that we need to get started. Oops, let's go ahead and move that in the right directory. There we go. Now we're in a command line. We're going to go ahead and open up this directory. So what we need to do is this application uses Node, and we already have Node installed. And so we're going to do uh, an npm install to get all the Node packages that we need. So this will get Express and Jade and Mongoose and all the different things that uh, we need for our application. So this web application is going to be a server piece and a client piece. So on the client side, it's going to be AngularJS and Twitter Bootstrap. And on the server side, it's going to be Node. I'm hosting Express using the Jade engine and using Mongoose to go against MongoDB. Now we need one more package. because the uh, client-side code, in order to pull down all the JavaScript files that we need, we need Bower. So let's go ahead and grab that. So next, what we need to do is install um, files for Bower, so that's going to pull down all of the different JavaScript files that we need. So locally here we're going to do a git init to create our own git, and we're going to do an add. Now if we notice in our uh, files here we don't have our public lib folder which we need and that uh, turns out that's in our git ignore so we're going to go ahead and do a git add um, with a dash f option and get our public lib here let's see there we go So now we have our public live, our different JSON files that we need. So now let's go ahead and uh, commit that to our Git server. There we go. Now at this point, we just have the files checked in locally and we want to use Heroku actually to host and so what we can do is we can um, push our changes to Heroku which will then actually deploy um, so let's go over here to heroku.com 
there is this getting started. So the first thing what I've already done is I've signed up for Heroku and I have an account and I installed this tool belt application on the client side which now gives me uh, command line tools here um, for Heroku. And then I've already issued this Heroku login um, so I can tie my Heroku account to this uh, command line and it's going to generate an SSH uh, public key. Now I, on Windows I had a problem with that so I had to come in here to my system properties environment variables down here to my path and at the um, I had to add the path to get bin. It had the path already for get command but for some reason it didn't have get bin and that was causing a problem. So after I added that and uh, reran this then I was okay to go on Windows. So now that we've got Heroku um, set up, here's my account and I can see that uh, I don't have any apps. So what I'm wanting to do is go back here to my command line and I'm going to do a Heroku um, create and that's going to um, create a deploy for me. And it's going to generate a name so I've got lit fortress 5870 is what it's created for me. So now I can go ahead and do a git push Heroku master and that's going to go ahead and push all of these files um, to the server. Now while that's doing that I'm going to go ahead and open um, my sublime text and go ahead and find my path here. Alright, so here's my main stack directory. So I can kind of uh, go through this in just a minute to tell you where the different uh, things are. Um, <clears throat> let's give it just a minute here. just look through here really quick. So here um, is the public folder where it's going to serve different files and it's going to have our JavaScript and these are different things for Angular um, including these views. But before we get to that we're actually come up here to this app folder here and we can see that we have views, we have a layout, a Jade layout here and that's going to set up our basic HTML page here and it's got an index.jade which has some sprinkling of these ng um, this ng view here which is for our angular js and um, also it includes an ng include which is this views header html um, so if we go down here to um, our angular views header html so this is like a partial template and it says that it needs an ng controller. So here's this Angular um, JS controller called header controller. And we can go in here and we can go ahead and see that here's the controller code that's going to form our uh, our uh, glue between our view and our controller code uh, all on the client side. So that's just kind of a quick overview where some of these files are. So we've go ahead, we've already deployed to lit fortress here. So now if I uh, refresh this, then I see that I've got lit fortress as a deployment. And let's go ahead and run this production check. So it doesn't some checks. One thing that I'm going to go ahead and turn on right now is paper trail. So it's going to turn on uh, log monitoring. So here in Paper Troll, I can come down here to the different plans, find the free plan, and associate it with Lit Fortress. So now I've just added that add-in here, and we can go ahead and close that. What else I want to do is I want to add our MongoDB. So here in our data stores, I'm going to go 
find Mongo HQ. And here's my free plan for that. Lit Fortress, go ahead and associate that. All right, so now let's go back. And I can go here to Mongo HQ. And it's telling me I've got an empty MongoDB instance here and want to know if I want to create a collection. I'm going to go over here to admin. Uh, in users, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new user. So we're going to call this mean admin and password one, two, three. So here I've got mean admin down here. And if I go over to this overview, then it's telling me this is the path that I need to um, go to to configure where MongoDB is. So go back here to Sublime Text. I'm going to find this config folder here and this config.js file. And for the development um, path here, I'm going to go ahead and use this and change the user to mean admin and the password to password 123. So I've got that saved now. Need to go back here and do um, get status. All right, so get add. All right, and then I can do a git push Heroku master. So the reason why we had to we couldn't just do all that at once is that I needed to actually do a push first in order to um, add MongoDB as an add-in. So then I could get the database set up with the pass user ID and password so I could come back and change the config. So that's why I'm doing this in two steps. Now let's see what else I can show you in um, this. So this app directory is pretty much the server side of things and it's got the different node modules that it needs for the server. So it's got Express and Jade mongoose um, passport is interesting because it's going to um, give you the ability to log in with your facebook or whatnot account so you could go ahead and um, sign up for a key for uh, facebook or twitter or github or google or um, there's lots of other ones that you can actually go to if you go to the um, the passport um, node module site then look, there's lots of other ones, but you could just add that into your config here, and then now you could would be able to log in with one of those um, accounts. And so then we talked about public already, where our CSS and images and our different JS files are. In this lib here is where our Angular and Bootstrap and um, jQuery and all the different things that we need um, are. And then these views are templates that um, are sprinkled with some Angular directives so that we could use uh, Angular here on our client side. And that's about it for the structure of this. It looks like we've uh, successfully deployed here. So let's go um, try this out. We're going to go Heroku open and it's going to go ahead and open Lit Fortress and see what we've got here. Okay, good. So now we've got our um, Angular app. Let's go ahead and sign up. Um, here's showing where we could log in with other um, authentication uh, providers. I'm going to use a fake uh, email here. Let's go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and sign up. Uh, we're logged in. So let's see what's happening here on the server side. We're 
going back here to um, our Mongo HQ, and we can see that it created two collections for us, one of users. So here's my uh, login information, and then it also um, has a collection for our sessions. So that's it. We were able to quickly uh, create an application using the mean stack boilerplate and use Heroku and Mongo HQ to deploy it. So here are some resources. We uh, went to, to Mean.io to get the boilerplate code. If you didn't have Node.js already installed, you could do that. Heroku, um, remember we needed to install that uh, tool belt before we could use it. Um, and here are some other uh, links that make up the mean stack. So MongoDB, Mongoose, Express, AngularJS, and Twitter Bootstrap. And I uh, just want to do a quick shout out to the Phoenix Web Application Users Group. Um, here's their website. Last month was the first month that I was able to go to um, a meeting. And uh, big thanks to Lucas for uh, hosting that and uh, getting all that things organized. So you can find him at Simpleton on Twitter or at One Hungry Mind on the web. Check out his book that's coming up, AngularJS in Action. Um, you can get a meep of that. Um, so you can get a uh, sneak peek before it's out. And at that last meeting of the Web Application Users Group, then Kirk Morales was able to give us a, uh, a demo of the Mean stack, and he's got some code there on GitHub, uh, Mean Demo Blog. So check those things out, and I hope you enjoyed this video.